Well, hello everyone. Uh, Supervisor Jim Desmond with you here on Monday, August 10th, uh, with a COVID in San Diego County uh, update. I uh, just want to give you the latest numbers. Uh, our numbers are still trending down. The uh, rolling average of people testing positive out of all those tested right now over the last 14 days, 5.3%. Good news is the intensive care and hospitalization of patients in San Diego County has come down dramatically. Uh, about a month ago in mid um, early July, we had about 500 people in the hospital for COVID. Uh, as of today, we only have 318. ICU beds were, were quite uh, high as also. Uh, there were about 160, 170 people in ICU beds. Now we're down to 99. As far as uh, opening up uh, schools and businesses and being on the uh, state's watch list, we have to have one, uh, less than 100 people testing positive per 100,000. Uh, we're currently at about 111 testing positive, uh, 109 testing positive um, you know, for the last several days. And so we're, we're getting down closer to that, to getting off of the uh, county's watch list. Again, the average age for, being te for testing positive is still fairly low. It's about 37 years old. And so there, half of them are, are less than 37, the other half are older than 37. Still got to protect their most vulnerable and, and advise and uh, keep um, adhering to the uh, health officers, the uh, health orders as far as the social distancing, washing hands and the masks. We're, it's working San Diego County, our numbers are trending down. This morning, we had our first uh, budget hearing and this is a budget for San Diego County. Normally we do it in June and we're doing it in August now because of the COVID uh, setback here. But um, our budget is gonna be $6.4 billion. About $2 billion of those dollars go to the safety, uh, on the safety side of uh, the county, which is the police, probation, uh, district attorney's office, uh, jails, courthouses, all those types of things. Another $2 billion out of the $6 billion goes to health and human services. And that's dealing with uh, behavioral health, the COVID uh, virus, the uh, uh, environmental health, the um, seniors, children, you know, all, all sorts of uh, uh, programs. So $6.4 billion, uh, my questions were primarily on reserves. This is the first time in um, a long time that the county has actually had to dig in and use reserves. But we're having to do that to uh, backfill the, uh, the budget uh, for this year. Uh, our reserves have you know, always been healthy. We've keep 60 days of reserves on hand. We're having to, which is about $700 million. Uh, and then we're having to spend about 90, almost $100 million out of the reserves. But we're gonna have a plan, we're having a plan to get that money back and so we can get back to those healthy reserves. So our next meeting on the budget hearing is open to the public. You can call in and voice your concerns. It's gonna be 5.30 uh, this Wednesday night. Um, go to the county's website and get the information or call my office and get the information if you wanna weigh in on uh, how the county is spending your money. So thanks for checking in. Hope to see you soon.